Okay, today I'm going to quickly show you how to one do a little bit of rendering, such as basic rendering, and I'm also going to show you an um, exploded parts view drawing of our Lego winch assembly. So um, the first thing was was the appearance, or the um, there's a difference between appearance for rendering and the materials that are actually selected. We need to go into each of these components individually, open them up, and then once it opens, it takes a minute to open, we can right click on the um, main section up here and we go physical material. We're going to allocate a physical material to it. So for this one, I'm going to use plastic ABS um, for all the components that are plastic. Then we're going to save it and close our part. I know it seems a little bit tricky that you have to do that for each part, but um, that's just the way it is. You can see it's come up with an exclamation mark here. Once I click this here, it will um, hopefully get rid of that warning. And everything should be up to date in our um, assembly. You can see that, um, well, you can't actually see, but I've allocated all the parts plastic, except for my two pins, which for this design I made um, metal. Um, so if your pins are plastic as well, you can do that to that. Um, we can check that I've done each one. Whoops, I wasn't meant to do that. Um, you can check that you have done each one by, sorry, I'll just collapse this again. Um, right clicking, going to properties, and in your materials properties, if you look under physical material, it should say ABS. Now, the other thing that's different um, is the um, appearance so you can see that these aren't white like the physical material that i allocated for the handle but if you go into individual parts and go appearance you'll get a very similar dial up box but this one's called plastic translucent matte blue um, i've dragged them across to both of my kind of cradle blocks and then i've done the same with yellow to these ones so that's not actually changing the physical material it's actually changing the appearance all right, so we've got our um, kind of piece material. The materials have been allocated and the, um, the appearance is looking how I want it to. Um, next is to do a um, animation. So the animation is going to set our project up for that exploded view. First thing I'm going to do is set my home view and I want to leave it in the home view while I'm kind of exploding these parts out. I'm going to delete this first part timeline because I don't want it like that and then I'm going to um, come up make sure it's set to two or three seconds the time doesn't matter it's really just the end position that matters for this um, component I'm going to select firstly this front one and zoom out a little bit keeping it in that home view I'm going to pull this one out that direction and then I'm going to select both of the pin and using control, I can select the um, gear as well. And I'm going to pull this one out this direction. And then I'm going to just click the pin and I'm going to pull that one out so it's aligned with it. It'll be the same for this one. So including the pin, the gear and the handle, I'm going to lift them up together. I'm going to drag the handle out so it's on the same plane. I'm going to drag the gear out so I'm going to drag the gear out this way and then I want the cradle to be somehow kind of clear of all the other parts so maybe I need to drop this one down a couple and I'll drop this down the same amount so it looks like it's still on the same plane so you can see that all the components now are clear of each other um, this one here might need to go down one more so it's on the same plane and this one again or it could come out of, out of step so that's looking pretty good so that's my exploded view kind of all lined up you can see there's clearance between each component I'll click OK and if I play that animation now everything comes apart ideally as it kind of exits this here it would kind of like not go through that but we're not looking for an animation that um, kind of uh, is going to be a recording we're just looking at this end product which is here so I'm going to save that so I'm going to save together and we're going to do our, um, our drawing from animation 
before we do this drawing from animation section, we're going to come over here and we're going to check our preferences. Within preferences, there's a few changes we might need to make if we haven't done this in our account. So if we go to drawing and then we go, um, we should have ISO selected. Um, unit should be in millimeters. Sheet size A4. Um, override um, default format. If you click or select that, the default is not selected, so make sure it is selected. Now our projection type is third angle projection. So because we're in Australia, um, we want third angle projection. That's our standard. Um, this refers to the way that the drawing is laid out on the sheet. So apply that one and OK. Now we get to the actual drawing part. So we're going to go up to um, new drawing from design. Now if you've already uploaded the Ross Trevor template, um, you should be able to select that. If you haven't done that, um, we need to go up to Upload, Select File, and then um, you should have that Ross Trevor template that you can upload. Um, make sure it's in the folder that um, you are working on. So um, put it into the, um, you'll know what folder you need to put it in. Um, mine is already in there, but that's the one that I needed in. So. Um, upload that one. It'll only take a second. All right, so let's get into this drawing. So the third time, new drawing from animation. Now we've got our animation storyboard one refers to this here, so you can actually do several animations and refer to that. Um, drawing create new and we're going to use the template. If you do not have the template, you can just use the standard Fusion one. Once you click OK, it should automatically scale your work to an appropriate size. So that's looking pretty good. It's the same view as our home view, and if you want to make it slightly bigger, you can change the scale here. I'm happy with this scale because we've got some more work to do next to it. We're going to go to this table here, um, that's our parts um, parts table, and we're going to click there. You can see it's already put some balloons on here, um, labelling our parts. Um, interesting that it has missed this one here, so um, it's probably because this part 2, there's quantity 2 of them, so there are 60mm M4 times 1 steel hex head bolt. Um, that's kind of uh, why this one's still still and the other one's all plastic. So this is referring to everything that you've done already. Your materials, they're all set up um, that we did at the start of this video. The description, there is no description link to it. So what I can do is double click this and turn the description off unless you want to write something in there. Um, and it refers to all our part um, names that we saved along the way. So if your spelling is wrong in here um, or you're, you need to change the part name, there's a way of doing that by going back in here, opening up your parts and come up and go rename, rename and save and then update this one. So do a save on this one and it will update in the parts list. Um, that's why it's always important to save your files appropriately as you're working. Lastly, what we can do with this one is just resize it a little bit. You have to do it from the end. Um, so everything fits on one line. It's a little bit clumsy doing this. Or maybe it's just me. Um, so that's all sitting nicely. You can see we need most of this space now. I will realign these. You can see they're nice and straight along here that's really good you want it looking really neat um, you could go back in and pull this bolt out a bit in that um, in that animation or you can move this around so it's working for us and you can move the endpoints as well so you can see that's clear try not to have any overlapping lines and if I want to I could add another number two to this bolt as well. Otherwise you're referring to this is the component that's got two components in the quantity column. 
if I wanted to add a, um, a kind of balloon there, you can click that one, click where you want the balloon to start, and then um, insert it into there like that. So you've got two twos, but that's what it is. So um, I double click this and change it to a shaded view. I think it would look pretty cool. Um, it might not look awesome, but let's try it with the parts. That's a bit messy. Essentially just labeling your parts in this drawing. So that is um, looking good.